Oh, are you having a little fashion moment, Biscuit? Are you having a little bijou fashion moment with your new collar? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I love the diamonds. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. And hello, little Biscuit. How are you doing, lovely? How are you doing? Did I wake you up from your little snooze? No, I didn't because you've been high energy all day. You have to catch me first. I'm like a whippet. Do you know, it's been a little while since I have sat in this studio ready to film something. Oh, every time you find something something to nibble on, don't you, Mr. Biscuit? It has been about two weeks since I have sat down in my studio to film anything, and the reason why is because I was actually meant to be going to Zurich, and I didn't end up going, did I, Mr. Biscuits? So, my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls! <laughs> So, my lovelies, the last episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls actually created quite a lot of discourse in the comments. I didn't realise that you could use... Uh, how can I say this in a way that YouTube is friendly? You can hoist the nipple in various outfits if you have a large bosom, should we say. Cancelled! I always thought that it was the outfit that caused the hoisting. Not necessarily clever biological hoisting. So, my lovelies, one of the top comments on the last episode is by Helia Grey, girls! And they say, Jay dismissing Kelly's win like that right before the photo shoot was such blatant emotional sabotage. Disgusting narrative building. Isn't that right, Mr. Biscuit? I completely agree. We are now halfway through the season, so I think we're gonna see some pretty dramatic narrative building, probably in today's episode episode and the episodes going forward as we try to find out who's going to be America's Next Top Model, like 2005. <gasps> so my lovelies, I usually waffle on quite a lot in these intros and I'm gonna try and cut them down a little bit. So why don't you grab your beverage, my lovelies? Today I am on the Monster Energy, although this little one is currently absorbing all of my hand skills. Pop your ohanger in and let's watch America's Next Top Scandal Girl, shall we, Biscuit? Mm, yes. Deranged. Today was a hair wash day, so marvellously I am a frizzy little humid sheep. Isn't that nice? Don't we love that? Glamour girls, it never dies. She's dead. Da 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 da. I need to turn up the volume, girls. Cowbell on the game. Cassie Yaya needs to win. I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it three, I've said it four. Yaya needs to win. <laughs> Here we go, girls. Are you ready? Magdalena dead! Eva dead! <laughs> How can you say that? It's naughty. One day I'll have to actually be careful. Yeah. Who will be very mad on Scandal Girls? Oh my god! Tyra had to get in 408 photos of herself in the intro. Here we go. Right, what's the tea? In the lake, in the sky, in the cab, Daddy, and in the flat. I don't have intensity in my eyes. I keep trying different things and thinking different things. And I. I don't know. She's lacking she's intensity in her eyes. Another not so flat. Do you remember when they showed this background last time and it was like rainbow? And today it's just like, like, what is this lighting? Okay, sure. Do you know what? Sure, it was a different time. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. Literally only 20 years ago. Did we not invent lights 20 years ago? Where was Thomas Edison? Didn't actually invent the light bulb. Rainbow. Stole it. Kelly, your pictures Kelly have girl. been literally some of the worst in the bunch. No, it's because you edit them to be horrible. How hard I try, I still don't get it. I just need help. Oh, it's gonna be emotional today, isn't it, girlies? Dean was eliminated out of all the girls here, we had talked the most. I don't particularly get Hello. along with the rest of the girls in the house. Oh, I'm a dear. loner and I'm used to it, so I'll sit on my bed by myself and Is I'll be Cassie fine. Is Cassie gonna go? Trash, 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 trash. Oh, a sensible camisole. Eight other beautiful pigs. Trash in there without a trash. Beautiful pigs. Naughty mummy. And food on the counter, come on. This morning, we were just piling trash around mm. the garbage can. And we know that people are. Blah, 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 blah. Right now, Cassie is pretty much the sloppiest one with Diet Cokes and such strewn about the house. She's a sloppy slut. Oh, she got different hair right there. About the house. Where's her hair extensions? What have they done to Amanda's hair? Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. Does the spaghetti match the drapes? 
So, so far this week, Cassie's Diet Cokes and the such like strewn about everywhere is causing tension in the house. Does this mean Cassie's going to go because we've been told that Cassie is the problem within the first two minutes of the episode? Quite often, sometimes in these old shows, it's relatively easy to predict who's going to go from how the editing literally starts that episode. I'm going to try not to give spoilers because I do actually kind of enjoy the show, even though it is riddled with problems. It holds a huge nostalgic part in my heart, girl. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. Not to strew. Slut. Slut. What? Slut. Sloppy slut. Was that a tummy growl? Oh my god. Wake up! I love that Tyra Hello. Came home and jumped on her beds to wake us up. Did like, you? It makes me happy because she's like a real person. Did you like that? I would Alrighty, be very upset. So today, I'm going to be talking about the modeling industry in terms of eating, body image, and the pressures to have to fit into a certain mold. Right, and what you're not doing to alleviate any of that. Kate Dillon. Kate and I used to model in Los Angeles and in Paris, and she's one of the top plus size models in the industry. So this is Kate Hello. Dillon. Oh, a glamorous woman. I've been a model since I was, gosh, 17 years old. And I was I was the first plus size model ever to be in Vogue. I think I stared at Kate like the whole time, like, wow, that's gonna be me. Like, I'm gonna okay. be the first black plus size girl. I started out as a skinny model. In order to be a skinny model, um, you have to be skinny. And for me, it was really, really difficult. Um, I actually had an eating disorder. I'd go days without eating or just maybe eating, you know, an apple or something like that. And I couldn't stay in the business. Sorry, what was this like? Note written thing? Hang on. So we're seeing an interview with her throughout this like difficult process that she's gone through. And there's handwriting being really, like really difficult. Struggling, um, actually had getting me bigger. Sort of, I'd go days without eating. What's that say? Yeah, Haven't eaten in two eating weeks, eating getting bigger. Like Is this her private diary that they've just gone? Do you know what? We're gonna whip it through PowerPoint and just put it in the episode to be like, you know, oh, these are the real struggles. It's like she's telling her story. We don't need to like Hollywoodify it. Oh, some of the sensitive topics in this show are not dealt with with the respect they need to be. This is a very difficult conversation to be having with girls who are quite literally going to be feeling probably the exact same way because they've been told constantly that their body image is very specific to this industry. We even had Janice tell Cassie, I think it was two episodes ago, oh my God, you look five weeks pregnant. So how is that? possibly ever going to be a helpful conversation to have on America's Next Top Model when someone like Janice Dickinson on the judging panel is like, well, you know how I feel about plus size. It's like this bit is a little bit like, well, we're covering our back because we do support the industry while saying and doing the complete opposite. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. I'd go days without eating or just maybe eating, you know, an apple or something like that and I couldn't stay in the business as I was. I was unhealthy, I was miserable, and I ended up quitting the business. All oh, right, well, Cassie's like already spoken pounds, about her problems, so zooming on her face. And ended up returning, but as a plus size model. This might not be the right career for any of you. If, if it's not the right career for you, don't try to manipulate yourself at any cost to fit into it. In a way, you guys are athletes because you have to work on your body. You have to stay. You're an athlete, but don't be too athletic because we will judge you at the panel and say you have to go home. You're all dancers, but don't be too much of a dancer. You're all athletes, but don't be too much of an athlete. No. Unacceptable! So we're going to talk today right. about how to do this healthily. And we have a woman here that is going to talk to you about that even further. Hey! So right here. For over 15 years, I've been working with models, helping them to manage their weight. It's all about balancing, moderation, and consistency. Well, I do the yeah, sure. low-carb. Nobody needs to be afraid of carbohydrate, contrary to what the rest of the world is preaching right now. These are the foods that you need to moderate, but not eliminate. I want to know if anybody wants to do like a one-on-one -on -one with the three of us. Well, I want to do a one-on-one -on -one with you sometime. So if everyone else can go into the bedrooms for now. You know, if I want to be a model, I feel like I should be skinny. I won't say that I have a disorder, but I worry about what I eat 24-7. Do you ever feel that it gets out of control and then you do a whole guilt head trip on yourself? Mm -hmm. I have had several times where I've thrown up in the past. But I'm this isn't really appropriate for TV. I wouldn't say that this is... Are any of these people qualified to talk about this? This is like... We're entering into like psychological 
uh, territory here. Not a single person sitting on that couch is a psychologist. We have a plus size model and a supermodel and a nutritionist. Are any of these people qualified to give advice about psychological health? No. I do not think. No. In my degree, we did a little bit of nutrition. Not loads, because I didn't do a nutrition-specific degree, but we did a little bit of nutrition. It is a lot more than, like, a diet plan. It is a lot more than working out what someone needs to ingest in order to survive and live a happy, thriving life. It's a lot more than that, and I do not feel that simply saying, well, ignore what the rest of the world is saying is really an appropriate way to approach it. So let's see how this show, with all the elegance of a very rambunctious rhino, is going to tackle this very sensitive topic. I never considered myself bulimic because I didn't throw up after every meal and I would just do it at night right. if so I thought I Right, so we are now getting into like diagnosis territory. I get nervous when I hear that you've thrown up. Did you ever talk to anybody about that? Mm -mm. Maybe we should explore having you talk to somebody okay. only because it could really spiral out of control. Yes. Especially in this environment with the pressure and, and the critique. I don't feel like I can talk to someone and they will know how I feel. You can tell me I shouldn't do that all you want, but if I feel like I'm still going to do it, I'm never going to be helped. Oh! I wish she would have. People with eating disorders are oh. hardcore. CJ. That's a weird. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I have the curtains open, so I do apologize if I'm suddenly visited by a heavenly light. The nutritionist there actually said something very appropriate. She was like, we should probably get you in contact with someone to talk about this. That is the most sensible sentence we've ever heard throughout this entire show so far, because we're on episode six now. If we're led to believe that filming takes place over the course of about eight weeks, we must be what? over halfway through that. So production and Tyra and everyone in between has been around Cassie for this long and only now, at this point, has someone said, oh, potentially, you should talk to someone about this and not just be like, well, you know, it's not really an issue. It's a bad, a bad. So look at mummy. I feel like we're going to be having a very interesting episode today, my lovelies. So I do apologise in advance for any cautionary, exploratory language that we must investigate. Did that make sense? Yes. And also, no. I think they want me to go to a counsellor. Why? For you know what? They know? Mm hmm How? I had to tell them. If I'm feeling that I'm happy it and I'm doing fine and this is making sound me like happy a bigger by doing issue this, if that's like... all that matters to me. That did sound like a little bit of a bigger issue if Cassie was like, you know what? And he was like, oh, immediately clocked onto what that is. Does sound like a bit of an issue that might need to be explored off of television in a doctor's office. The psychic room. Right, okay, right, okay. Immediate food shots. Cassie's the first one out, right? Girls, there's food out there. It's just like fruit and salad. It's not like a bunch of meals. A small cake. It's brownies. Cassie had made brownies. You know, low-carb brownies. They can only be Cassie's because we eat low-carb brownies. Which are $6 a bag, which is very expensive for a little thing of brownies. Yes, and they were very... sitting on the counter with all of her stuff out that she used to make them. Oh, ah, so is your oil finished? I will not cook in the kitchen that's dirty. Like, that is disgusting. This place is so frustrating. It's disgusting. Like, uh, why is this just lying here? Uh, yeah, yeah. So we should draw on it. Put Cassie, clean your dishes. Is that rude? No, it doesn't ruin it. We just draw on it. <gasps> no, what are you doing? Stop sabotaging food. I'm like, evil, you can be the patrol person because we had to make sure no one was coming. Oh, I don't know if I like all this. Sabotaging food is a bit much. You I can't fit dishes. Clean your... Just maybe a little note that says, please clean up. Maybe not destroying food. Clean your... Can you read that? Or yes. Just... Okay. Yes. <laughs> I should have wrote, eat some carbs. I'm assuming it said, clean your... But like, realistically, could you ever read anything from that? What does it say? It looks a little bit, uh, 
ritualistic, shall we say. Pretty And what an excellent time for today's Twitch shout out, my lovelies, which goes to Serenity128. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, my lovely, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. It is like Saria Plays, and I stream every Monday and Thursday, my lovelies. So I shall see you over there. And with that, back to the video. Yes. <laughs> I should have wrote eat some carbs. <laughs> Not funny. I do have a sense of humor. I thought maybe Cassie had one too. This is bullying though. It's so mind boggling to me because who writes in someone's food? Who wrote that? I don't know. Someone had the audacity. Oh, uh, Eva and Anne like besties. Her precious brownies. <laughs> you like this about them brownies. I am because you know, who touches people's food like that? It's like me sticking my hands all in your chicken breast or something. It's Shut true. Up. Shut the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to be sneaky. Hey, man. Did you write my brownies? Uh-uh. Did you know who did? Uh-uh. Okay, just take them. I questioned what, everyone in the house. Have we ever seen that room before? Look at the size of this bedroom. My brownies? Have we ever seen it? Have we been given like a tour of the bedrooms or has it just been so long since I've seen an episode I don't know quite what's happening. So I don't know about you guys, but I am a little bit funny with people touching my food. I don't mind my boyfriend touching my food, but like anyone else, I'm a little bit like, please don't touch my food. I don't know what it is. Here's an example. Years upon years upon years ago, I, my friend was like, oh my God, I can't believe you butter toast like that. And so I butter toast in a very just like haphazard way because I want to eat the toast. And I was like, so how do you butter your toast then? And she picked up my toast that was already buttered and went, well, I would do it like this right up to the edges and then put it down. I remember looking at that piece of toast and being like, <gasps> You have sullied my toast and I cannot eat it. And I don't know why that is, but I'm just like, do you know what? Don't mess around with other people's food. Just don't do that. It's such a fast way to have an argument. It's like, no, get your grubby little fingers off my food. <laughs> so I'm fully on Cassie's side here. God, eight minutes in and I'm like, no. Do you know who did? Uh -uh. Okay, just take him. I questioned everyone in the house. I just right. said, did you ride in my brownies? That would tell you if I did, but I didn't. That's fine. Sneaky. I just, no, dude, so that not only are you bullying, Eva you're was lying. Like, it wasn't me, but she was kind of hinting that she knew it was someone else, and who else is under Eva's butt the whole time except Anne? Did you write my cake? Nope. So Eva said no, you say no, and Amanda said no, so. Nope. Okay. Don't want to fuss up to that. It was one of those girls. Duh. She's okay, so no, her. weren't they both like in a previous episode? I'm sure Eva and Anne were like, no, if I, I'm really honest. I'm just really honest and I'm really brutally honest. I'm just that honest, honest. This is like mean girl bully vibes. Like sure, she's left a bit of a mess, but like you can ask someone to tidy up their mess. You don't have to passively aggressively write in their food. And then if it still becomes a problem in this situation, you're on TV. So you could just literally make an example by being like, well, she's messy. I'm not cleaning up her mess. Rather than being like, let's sabotage your food and then lie about it. It's weird behavior, very weird. <laughs> I remember people in the comments of the first episode of this season being like, oh, Eva really redeems herself throughout the season. That was a lie. I know. She's mad. And I don't care. Okay. So I'm wearing this shirt for you. Respeito. In Portuguese, que dizer respect. Like, falta de respeito. In this house, there's no respect. I agree. No one um, would admit to the incident. Oh, here we the go. Brownie Gate 04. Oh, 2004. I cannot help much. Can they actually hear it or is this like secret? <laughs> Someone needs to tell me who stuck their damn finger in my brownies and then I need to buy me some more brownies. So Nicole didn't do it. Huh? And Amanda didn't do it. Is this just a bit and Kelly didn't drama do it. Moment. And Sakari didn't steal the cookies from the cookie jar. And Yaya didn't steal the cookies from the cookie jar. Yeah, I had dinner. Oh, oh drama girl. Yeah, don't be so drama. What was that? Oh, the Chrysler building. Thank you to whoever in the comments of the last video said that's not the Empire State Building like that. It's the Chrysler building. As a non-American, I just don't know anything it would seem about American culture, it would seem. Is a building considered culture? It should be. Right, here we go. Dinner. 
in. So we get to the dinner and everything is kind of like fine. Where is that? Then, is that someone's living room? Right, yeah, yeah. And she says, what does your shirt mean? Yeah, yeah what is that? It's um, respect. In Portuguese, it means respect. Oh. It's a big lack of it in the house, oh. so I felt the need to wear it today. Oh, this is like production. I just think that there's immaturity and respect in the house, and that was exactly. Why is it immature? Why is it immature? Who writes in food? Who, who <laughs> writes in some Okay, well, I was going to say something to you anyways. Well, I did that today to be funny. It wasn't to be. I don't know. I, I didn't do it to hurt you or because I don't like you. Eat it. Okay, that's fine. It was a joke. I'm sorry. I crossed the line. I was trying to be funny. I thought you could. I thought you would think it was funny. It's not funny. Why? Why, Anne? Why, Anne, would you think that it was funny to do all this? Why? I find it very interesting when someone is caught doing something and then they have to apologize, but they're like, I'm sorry you thought that this was, I thought you had, a, I thought, sorry, I thought you. Oh my God. It's like, sis. Have a moment, that's not an apology, that's an attack. Like, there's nothing worse than being involved in a situation like this. Like, technically, Cassie hasn't really done anything wrong. She hasn't tidied up after she's made some food. But she's had her food sabotage, she's been lied to, and then at a dinner it's being brought up as a dramatic moment in television history. It's just kind of like, you know, like, own up and be like, I'm actually really sorry, I misread the joke, I didn't realise you were going to be upset about it. I'm so sorry. What's wrong with actually being sorry about something that you've done wrong? Why do you need to be like, I thought that you were, I, 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 it was you actually, I'm the victim. It's unhinged behavior. Do you have a relationship with Cassie where you thought that she honestly would think it was funny? And maybe if you did it to Eva, you'd Yaya be like, Yaya ah. coming in as a good mediator. Okay, someone, okay, I guess I look at it as if, if one of you guys said to me, I'd laugh. Some no, people you wouldn't. think it's funny to kill and people, that doesn't make it funny. Previously, she's had a fight in the hallway and was like, no! I can't remember what happened. Did she bump? No, that was Eva and Amanda. There's lots of drama this season in this tiny apartment. Some people think it's funny to kill people. That doesn't make it funny. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Goodness, I wasn't expecting that, were you? No. Sorry that you're so mature and that you have no sense of humor. I mean, we don't have to be hostile to each other, but don't touch my stuff because it's not funny to me. Okay, well, when you were making yourself throw out and you didn't want anyone to talk about it, you said that and we stopped talking about That's it. That's fine. So stop talking about me because I don't like it. I'm going to talk about you, I'll tell you that now. Well, then I'm going to talk about how you're bulimic. That's great, I'll tell Tyra tomorrow. She knows, actually, we talked about it today. Good. Well, let's try this. How about everybody wash their own dishes? Clean your dishes. Don't be a pig. That's disgusting. Disgusting. Who wants to live with your dishes in the same Who world? wants to live with you, Anne? <clears throat> okay, well, don't touch me. I don't need you to tell me to wash my. You and I don't need you to put a knife what in my brownies and write like, clean your. Don't ever touch my stuff. Oh my God, Anne is so in the wrong here, sis. I have thought that Anne was quite acceptable, but this disagreement has made me go, oh no, Anne, a beautiful face does not give credence to behaving this way at all. That is so grim. Why would you bring up such a personal attack like that? You've done something wrong. You've inspired the ire of your fellow contestant. And then you decide to go, well, I'm gonna tell Tyra that you've got a potentially an issue. That is so, so, so dirty. What a dirty tactic that is. This woman is dirty. Oh, check your blood pressure, girls. It's gone through the roof. I actually might need to take a little bit of a break after that. No, let's continue, shall we? Gosh. All in this tiny restaurant. All oh, right, here we go, round two. Ding, ding, ding. Don't touch my stuff. Cassie will not do it. I think saying, don't ever touch my stuff to a, a basically a stranger that you're living with in a very unusual television situation is perfectly fine. You can tell people not to touch your stuff and they don't have a right to be like, well, actually, I'm going to do it. No, you're not. You're not going to touch my stuff. That's it. End of that. Don't ever touch my stuff. Cassie will not do her dishes. So I wrote with a knife in her brownies. What is her hair here? What is this? It's ketamine and MDMA. What is this? And why have they got why have they all got different hair in their confessionals in this episode? What's happened? The plague. It was supposed to be like a joke. Did it I doesn't matter. It? Did I piss on Saying it? something is a joke does not make it a joke. I, I, it's to be like a joke. Did I ruin it? Did I piss on it? I, I, I stuck used my knife. Finger in your did face? I use you went finger? Like this? I used a knife, honey. <laughs> there are obviously oh. lot, many different levels of maturity and experience in this house, whether it comes to what kind of sense of humor we have or how often we want to wash our dishes. We are not the same kinds of people, but respect, respect is the issue. Moving on, growing up. 
I don't like a lot of drama coming from girls, but with Anne, that's not avoidable here. Oh, oh, into the river, all of you, and think about what you've done. That looks like a hateful ride, whatever that was. I need to turn the volume down. Why they think that I'm the only one that doesn't clean my dishes? Right. Because there's a pile of dishes in the sink right now, and none of them are mine. Right. Well, that is your brownie know. case, no? You Maybe that's a distant shot. Oh my God! The first actual America's Next Top Model thing is happening, and it's 15 minutes into the show. Be ready to prove it at 10 o'clock. Are you excited, Biscuit? Be ready at 10 o'clock, girls. Into the Range Rover and on the game. Right, is this another boxer size? I oh! stepped out the elevator and I'm like, ah! Right. This is so great! I am so excited. We got the rope course, the walls, the tires. Oh my god! This episode has taken a turn, hasn't it, my loves? She's dead. Tired. Oh my god! Everybody jumping up and down. Right, Yay! is this an ass- what do you call it? An assault course? No. Are we excited? Assault course? This is an obstacle course. Obstacle course. Desire! Hello, ladies, I'm Captain Leaf Wade. Hello, Mr. Captain of the United States Wade. Marine Corps. We're no longer civilians. You're recruits from Pure Power Boot Camp. Deported! Blah, blah, blah. Today is about tenacity, strength, loyalty. When you come across rejection in the modeling world, you cannot quit. You become an army lady. You quit here today. Right. It's be one of the hardest workouts you've ever done. Okay. I don't like putting on fatigues and acting like I'm going through the jungle killing people, you know? So I was not excited at all. I yeah, I'm not surprised. I probably I wouldn't be that fast about this. Actual physical activity, I feed off that. All right, ladies, right. watch yourself. Be safe out here. Maximum effort. Three, two, Desire. one. Per 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 perverts. Off you go, girls. Do your bit of bunny slut. Oh, dead. Oh, she's dead. Oh, dead. Quickly. Oh, dead. Dead. Oh, dead. Everything I've ever done, I've been good at. Audio? Or one of the best people. Sports, whatever. Right. I do feel extreme competitive energy from Anne. Yes. She's the top athlete, and I'm maybe seen as another physical person because I dance. Right. So it's the athlete versus the dancer. Cassie, get up, get up, Cassie, come on! Cassie just didn't want to participate, and so she was doing things kind of minimally. Cassie, let's go! Well, yes, I mean, she's allowed to. This is a modeling competition, not an army recruitment program. Nothing, because if I wanted to get in the military, I would have signed up for the military. We're not here to get in the military. Cassie is the biggest punk I have ever met. I don't want to do this anymore. Look over and start doing push-ups. I wanted the sergeant to really just drill her and yell at her and say, you suck, you maggot, get up, ah, shut up. This is dumb, this is really Why? cheesy. I really don't want to be here right now. I am not surprised. This is turning into a horrible episode for Cassie. I bet you back in the day, people would have been like, yeah, Cassie needs to grow up hair, man up, you puff. <laughs> But I am actually, like, as an adult, looking at this from Cassie's point of view, like, she's actually had a really shit week, and now she's being yelled at by an army person for a TV modelling competition reality TV show. Like, at this point, at what point do you say, I've had enough stress, actually, I'm going to remove myself from the situation? Yet, somehow then also you have your other contestants being like, well, I wanted to see her get yelled at and called a maggot. Like, that's just so grim. Oh, Cassie, I have all the empathy in the world for you right now because it is not, it's not, it's not all turning up Cassie today. Go home, I want to go back to Oklahoma right now. Balance, focus. I think the point was to teach us tenacity and endurance. Tenacity? And when it seems extremely is hard, Is this teaching you tenacity? What's tenacity? I only know it in the context of World of Warcraft. For the, the quality or fact of being able to grip something firmly. Do you know, if you'd have sat me in a room for a thousand years without any access to the internet or anyone else and said, define tenacity, I would never have gone, ah, oh, it's this girl, just grip really tight. I'm a slut, Doug. Seems extremely hard. Don't give up. Slot. Tenacity. That's far too fancy for grip strength. Hey, some did an amazing job out here today. Some didn't do so well. And you will see Cassie. me again. Oh. oh. We leave What's the boot camp. Bye. We drive to another location. 
Here's Captain Wayne again. Oh. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Did he teleport? Or did they just and drive around the block? Did you see me so times? soon? No. Your challenge today is to race to the top of the stairs in this 14-story high-rise. We like. Why? Are you kidding me? Yeah, why? The winner will be based on the best individual time. Whoever wins this will be greatly rewarded. For what? So battle it out amongst yourselves, and we'll see who has what it takes to make it to the top. Oh, quite literally make it to the top. Top of the staircase, yeah, girls! And I hate him. I just looked at it like, oh, I can do this. It was really just me and Yaya that were like, let's like, do this, like, you know, I was excited. So we go up five stairs, one by one. I am first. Why are we racing up the stairs? Do you know, I couldn't do this couldn't be me because I get a bit fearful being chased up the stairs. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die, a demon. I don't know why. This is like, what's the point? Is this I'm just to running. be like, you I'm get running. the first I'm pick running. of the I'm outfit at the shoot? Also, running upstairs is actually hateful. Um, it's really hard because I'm not an athlete in the slightest bit. I did pretty good. I got to the seventh. They're throwing the word athlete around quite a lot, but they're also just running up staircases. I understand the use of the stairmaster if you want a good juicy peach, but is that is there like athletic staircase running? Is that is that like would you and like would you say somebody who particularly enjoys running upstairs? Would you be like, look at that athlete go, girls? And she is the moment. Now come on now. She just loves the stairs. Would you? I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know what's happening in today's episode, but I'm asking lots of questions. Feel like an investigative journalism. Four before I was like. Come on, Jagara. Uh, <sighs> Floor four. Is it fourteen? Even when I wanted say. to stop on the stairwell, I didn't, and I might have slowed down, but I didn't. Just stop. Fourteen. Run up fourteen flights of stairs. I don't that is quite hateful. Fail at things. I don't not finish things. I was wheezing like. Ugh. I could barely breathe, you know, because I didn't want to finish last. <laughs> One point three three. Top model needs to look good on a moment's notice. You now have a photo shoot. Oh! How absolutely yeah, disgusting. This would never, ever, ever happen in the real modeling world. Imagine. Imagine, imagine, no, if I have a model sitting in my makeup artistry chair in order to get ready for a photo shoot, the last thing I want them to do is feel like they're panting, hot, sweaty, uncomfortable. It's gonna disturb product. It's gonna disturb the way that product lays down. It's gonna disturb the overall outcome because undertones in their skin are gonna look different. <sighs> no, just no, no, stop being naughty. I can't even breathe. <laughs> oh yeah, this would be me. After intense exercise, so I, I like, always get a bit vomity. We're gonna smile on these pictures. Just a fact of life. Right, photo alone in my camisole. Here they go! You have a photo shoot. A photo shoot now? Yeah. Oh, dead behind the eyes. Oh no, dead. She's dead. The real uh, dead. challenge is if I'm on a photo shoot after not having slept, after not having eaten. Yes, but that's it's not, not good. It's also not to, appropriate to work behavior. Now a photo shoot. You know, the most important you go, thing to me is to have a good what? hair. What has happened to her hair here? What is this? How do you take Caucasian straight white hair and do this to it? How does that happen? What have they used? Have they used a tail comb, wrapped it round, and then like used a straightener and then been like, we'll just leave the ends out, but the ends are like this long. <laughs> How does this happen? And I've only had one where they actually were like, that's beautiful, we like it. You now have a photo shoot. Okay. Uh, yellow. The photo, was the photo, did, did they, were they even introduced shoot. to the photo? Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm just posing. I think that photo shoot sucked. <laughs> Is this... Is that tea? On your feet, ladies. None of you quit, all right? Which right. is the most important thing here. Yes. The times are very close. In ninth place is Kelly, 2.34. Oh, Kelly girls. I wasn't girls. really expecting to win because there were so many girls far more athletic than me. Eighth, Norell. Seventh, Takara. Good for Takara, but how does Norell and Kelly feel that they just lost, uh, you know, a girl that weighs 50 more pounds than them? Sixth, Amanda. Fifth, it's Kat. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, I don't 
understand. I don't understand. Why is Anne being so hateful this episode? I've cheered her on a little tiny bit in the previous episodes, but I retract those statements. Although this could just be reality TV working its absolute magic. Because as we said going into this episode, we had the top comment from the last episode saying narrative building. Is this aspect of me suddenly not really liking Anne exactly what reality TV production wants me to think as a viewer? From a viewer's point of view, am I fulfilling the role of whatever storyline it is that they've made? Am I the player or am I the game? It's chocolate. She's definitely on the game. I see. She's not I on the game I was just happy I got to the top and didn't finish last. <laughs> right, lovely. Fourth is Nicole. Third Nicole is Eva. Have we even seen anything from Nicole in the last four episodes? Have we seen her or has she just been forgotten by production? It was between Yaya and... Today's winner... Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a winner, girl! In her blue shorts! Yeah, 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 you get to pick uh, one person. You get to pick who goes to the electric chair. I picked Takara! Oh. <laughs> All right. Takara was one of the people that really exemplified not giving up. What are they going to do? Are they going to win an opportunity to go to a park? You two beautiful ladies are going to enjoy a wonderful, beautiful evening here at Clay Spa, up here on this roof deck. Okay. Oh. oh. The rest a spa? of you ladies are not so lucky. Moment? You have to walk home. <laughs> oh. After that brutal day we had, like, does anyone even know which walk way home. we're supposed to go? Bye, right. girls. Right? Yeah, right. right. Oh, but they did get right. to stop for milkshakes, so that's fine. Imagine telling a blind girl that she has to walk home. A miscellaneous distance that we've not been told. That's so wrong. Right, okay. It's the night time. Massages so Ryan at night. To stay and do their little facials. Person that needed the facial got the facial. Eva. Adventures for the blind children. How far is it in the house? The house, the house is on 50th Street, and we're like negative 10. Right. 20 blocks in New York equals one mile. 20 yeah. blocks? 20 blocks is a mile in New York? How big is a block? What is a block? We do not have blocks in the UK. Is a block like a block, like an apartment building? American cities are laid out like very like sensibly in terms of like everything's a grid, right? If you've ever been to London, you'll realize everything is chaotic because it's been here since the dawn of time itself. Everything's just been built around everything else, which is wonky and off center. So a block is 20 blocks is one mile, as a yard is 238 uh, kilograms. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Right, the Chrysler building. <laughs> a rocking chair. Oh. I've been criticized for Salad and my dancer-ishness shine through. When I looked at the picture, I did not see a model. It was too dancer. It was almost too dramatic. What I'm struggling with right now is how to set aside something that is so much a part of me. You know, like well, the definition of Yaya yes. dances up there. Yes. Why? I think I had the Hollywood image of New York City in my head, and when I came here, I was so disappointed by it. It's hard to come here and see Ooh, just Paris this syndrome. Big place where it's really dirty and it's really expensive. You guys, we're gonna make a left at this corner. Yeah, metropolitan city living guy. isn't isn't well, that all it's cracked up to be, is it? Follow me, ladies. Follow me. Finally, something I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and they're home. Happiness to me is okay. just that feeling that can't be described. And it's not here right now. I, I don't want to live in New York City if I don't have that feeling in my heart, you know? And I, right now, I don't have it. Being in this competition, I don't have it. New York is not as glamorous as I You've pictured it to be, and that's why I'm so of this disappointed. Because it was always like my dream city that I never thought I would get to go to, and now I'm here and I hate it. I feel like all my spirit is gone here. Just be a trooper. I'll try my best. Try my bit. But you, will you be mad if I come home early? Oh, drama, girls. <laughs> the wall of Andoria. Up and up. Right, okay. Why Are we actually. Camera action. 
Right, we're actually doing something to do with America's Next Top Model. Actually, finally, an actual photo shoot halfway through the episodes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Feces. So, so far in this episode, we've had lots of drama revolving around everyone treating Cassie quite badly. And we've also seen some really unfun ways that Cassie's potential health has been uh, spoken about. I do find it weird that in the section earlier, when we had the three people sitting on the couch, it was Tyra, um, the plus size model, and the nutritionist, when they were sitting together, they only, we, we only really saw them speak to Cassie. We didn't see them speak to anyone else. So this episode is very Cassie potentially eating disorder storyline heavy. Isn't it? I think we can say that. Tomorrow, get a jump start to your day and be right. ready at 7. Is it going to come up again Hi. in this episode? <laughs> Time to get ready, girls, in front of camera. On the go, she's on the game. Oh, right. Oh, military Good things morning. again. So I know you guys are already thinking. Oh, what Jay, the don't ask, don't tell. Now, some of you still have issues posing on the ground. But today, it's even more challenging because you need to learn how to pose while in flight in the air. Honestly, my heart stopped. I'm deathly afraid of airplanes. Tea. So of course, to do this shoot right, I had to get a photographer that shot Tyra, and his name is Sasha Flaying. This is gonna be really demanding. Sasha Flaying. I hope you all have a lot of- Look at that name. That is quite a name. Be really demanding physically today. I hope you all have a lot of energy. Yeah, all right, let's right. go. Right, are they actually jumping out of planes? We were thinking that we were gonna like bungee jump from an airplane, like over the water, land on a boat with a thing of yogurt or something. We had no idea. Bungee jump, hey, Danilo, that means going Matthew, back up. Can I take those you can't possibly, you can't bungee jump from a plane. That would just be Death. A horrible way to die. <laughs> for just a second. Okay, right, the Benson. shoot today is for YJ Stinger. It's an energy drink. Oh, so oh, this oh, is oh. an action shot Dead today. Now. All right, we have a big Look trampoline. Look at that jacket. The trampoline. Okay, right. So trampolining the in the US Air Force military base. <gasps> in the air, okay? Eva looks I cool. just, I don't deal well with like, yeah, you're doing great. Because I'm not really doing great. So tell me, like, you're not doing this right as opposed to Did you to, see like, that editing shot they did of everyone just turning to look at Kelly as she spoke? As if, like, the worst thing she can possibly do is ask for assistance. Look, watch. I was like, yeah, you're doing great. Because I'm not really doing great. <gasps> That's reversed. They've put this, uh, this is editing, look, it's reversed. Well, I was like, yeah, you're doing great. Cause I'm not really doing- That's reversed footage. Cause I'm not really doing great. Oh, so they would have been looking and then looked back to Jay, but they've gone. Cause I'm not really doing great. Cause I'm not really doing great. No say, Premier Pro tricks, trickery. Oh, you're being a naughty slap. That what did you just say? So tell me, like, you're not doing this right, as opposed mm -hmm. to, like, right. you're, you're doing great and then expecting me to do better. But, you know, at the same time, Kelly, I can't baby you through every frame. I'm tired uh, of talking no, about Kelly. You... I'm tired of talking to Kelly. I'm tired of seeing Kelly cry. Except the fact that I can't take a good picture. But now I'm trying to work on that. And I keep on with it. And <sighs> whatever. I need help. I've never done this before. If I could take perfect photos and I knew what I was doing, I'd be in the agency. Exactly. Oh my god, what? Jay being so vile there, being like, I'm tired of talking to you, I'm tired of looking at you, I'm tired of you crying. You're meant to be a mentor. Imagine a mentor turning around and saying that to you. That is just, like, if that was someone I had hired personally, they would be immediately fired. She wasn't saying, baby me along. All she was saying was, if she's doing bad, don't tell her she's doing good. All right. Yeah, well, good. okay, and one thing you said good. good. Look at face. Cassie, you seem very comfortable jumping up and down, and there's some really nice moves and some really beautiful shots. Oh. But Cassie didn't have a lot of variety. One, okay. two, three. Some compliments, Five. potentially? Eva was Why excited, and she really gave me energy. Okay, she's good. She's really nice. She's pretty, vibe. but it's just not a lot of range. Oh, this is going to be very busty. Agreeance, this is her outfit, all right? One, two, three. What is the point of this photo shoot? This is for an energy drink? Okay, let me just think, actually. Let me think. Let's cast our minds to the boardroom of an energy drink company. Okay, we all sit down and we say, How, my loves, are we going to promote the energy drink? What does it do? Gives you energy, it's a drink. 
It's an energy drink. She's got a degree. These three things. US Air Force, models on a trampoline, America's next top model, hateful people. Is that a sensible business plan? God, I just don't know. Anything really happened 20 years ago, didn't it? Mind you, the world of advertising is so bizarre anyway, because we always end up with the most unhinged adverts. I mean, this is a very prime example. Berries and cream. Oh, hurrah. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. Very good. Wait. It's right. tricky on the trampoline. You have to keep a lot of factors in mind. The dress, Gosh, the Nicole, you're selling. This is the face. first sentence you've said in years. You have to think of your dress. Do different stuff with your arms. And remember that you got to present the can. Noelle is a little bit scrawny and a little bony, but for her in this situation, Ooh, Nicole, it made it more difficult to find a very cabbage very patch nice child. Looking elegant position. What's wrong with me? You are on a trampoline, yeah, yeah. it's really? kind of difficult. I had a really cute dress, I was so excited to wear, and I start jumping, and my entire top comes out of my dress. Oh dear. No. Okay, don't keep doing it, please. Move from the game. Oh, look. Oh! Wardrobe. And so Michelle has to try to find another dress. Did you bouncing around in there? Nothing's happening. Well, that's a wardrobe. Oh, that's not Kelly's fault, is it? Just keep your legs up, straight, looking at the light. Just yeah. And look into the light. Just throw your neck back oh, a little bit. Kelly's going. Kelly is just she? so self-conscious that. She flunks as a model when she gets in front of Why do you think she might be self-conscious, James? Because you're constantly like, I don't even want to see you, you disguise your scum, girl. Camera. I don't really have anything positive to go on as to why I am here. I mean, it's really hard, especially when you're looking in the mirror and, you know, you're breaking your face apart and you just wonder, how can I ever make this look pretty on film? And then you get here and you can't. It's really hard. Now, this is the point in the season where the emotional, yeah, like, like turmoil is arriving. Ooh. Oh, dear. I keep forgetting you girls are so tall. I have to prove that I... Jump up and down. Up, you smack your head, girls. The picture out of all the shoots we've done. I like this top. It's very... I could wear this in a video. I'd be very pleased to wear this. And didn't seem to be Dead. bothered by hurting herself, so she really gave a lot into it. Oh, dear. Less is more. Less is more. Okay. Yeah, don't stop yeah, doing team too much. Big flop. Oh, dear. oh god, we've got Anne Literally, versus Kelly she versus Cassie. She scraped her chin, she scraped her elbows, she looks a mess. I tried to fly, and I don't know if it worked or not. She's got that face, that. That's Anne. Oh, is it bleeding? What is Jay? What is the point of Jay? What is the point? What is the point of Jay Manuel? <laughs> like, what is the point of Jay? What does he do? Like, he's creative artistic director of the photo shoot, but he's just like, you're doing great, or... You're doing awful. Is that, like, is it, like, good or bad? It's like a metronome. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. Like, what's the point? What is the point of Jay Manuel? What's the point? What's the point? What, what's the point? A little bit. Oh. Shape, we want a little oh, tight. Yeah, right bleeding everywhere. Better. According to some of the panelists, my photos look like a dancer. Right. And some of them I like that the panel didn't like. Yeah. On some of them, look at Amanda the in the background. Like. Are they taking out her hair extensions? I think they might be. Any instinctual poses that I would do might have traces of danceration in it. So I try to stick that away. Well, and yes, on a trampoline, it, it kind of is a, a part of dance and gymnastics, boring. right? They're all like similar branches yeah, of the same athleticism. The panel and took it to the extreme, which in that case isn't helping her. Right, so what would help her, Jay? Why don't you tell her? She did it all. She showed a lot of variety and she worked with her body. And okay. Ass. She is kicking major ass. And to go home. Amanda was doing dancer-like poses, and Yaya was getting pissy over there. Okay. It's so funny. This is just funny. This is funny. It's the fear. To me, I can't do dancer poses. and watch. They love Amanda's poses. Come here for a second, please. I just want you to understand, like, you super impressed me. I didn't say a word. In my opinion, you're the only one who got this today. And I haven't commented on anyone today. Thank you so much. That means no, because you don't ever do your chat. Nah. But I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, he goes, well, they told me I can't do dancer-like poses, so it's always an excuse for everything. It can't be because you're not perfect. No. Miss Yaya doesn't think so. <laughs> Afterward, did some cool stuff, and Jay was like, why didn't you do that up there? Every week I get the same comment, like, there goes that dancer thing. You shouldn't take everything as a hard and fast rule, because you know what, in this world, 10 people are gonna say, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. You know what you're gonna end up with? Nothing to do. <laughs> no, I fully understand. I think that Yaya has a perfect point here because she's not in a position of power. If someone is saying, stop doing dancer things, stop doing dancer things, that's gonna make you think about that the whole way through. So her bringing up this and then Jay actually going, no, it's your fault, actually. You are the problem, is not good because she she would naturally would have wanted to do some danceration, as she said earlier. Gosh, what's happening in today's episode, my lovely? It's all getting a little bit much, isn't it? It's all getting a little bit much for mummy. Naughty mummy. Right, here we go. It's the time night time. Now. Is it elimination already? Tomorrow you meet with the judges. Only eight of you will continue on in hopes of becoming America's We've next top model. We've got eight girls left. It's getting down to the wire of it. Do you know, one of my favorite parts about America's Next Top Model is seeing the girls like come home from the photo shoot and just like in their like casual home clothes, but with like full faces of glam still on. I think that, that's my like favorite thing. Seeing people ultra glam, but with like, just like, lazy clothes on, just like indoor clothes. I don't know, it's really funny. I really like it. That enough people that are doing consistently good. So then. this is the hair. The What we're seeing here is the hairstyles that they got on the photo shoot, which means that these confessions were filmed after this part of the photo shoot, even though those confessionals have been used earlier in the episode. So just so you know, to pay attention to the editing and the storyline that producers want you to think and believe. Can't afford to have a bad week here, so. Oh, get some TCP. Hot party. No say. Right, here we everybody. go. Ooh, Hello. bump it. This week you learned all about fitness. That is, her hair is part of the tree behind her. I've got a degree. And the importance of being motivated and right. wanting it. But now okay. it's time to make our Motivation. sixth cut towards determining who will become America's, America's next America's America's top. We have some amazing prizes. Oh, not a flat a pink model pink contract with the top international modeling agency, Ford Models. Ford, a Fordacious. A L magazine with Ellen world magazine. renowned photographer, Gilles Ben Simon. Gilles. And a $100,000 contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics. Oh. And of course, you know, we have some judges. Joshua. First is Miss Janice Dickinson. Oh, uh, she isn't. Janice is the very first supermodel ever to exist on this planet. No, we incorrect. We also have Nigel Barker, a Nigel no fashion Bisquish. photographer. Nolay Marin, a prominent Oh, look, he's a little puppuccino is back. How are you, ladies? No. Minnie says hi. Hey. Minnie. And our Make guest judge wash. for this week is Kate Dillon, who is hi, a fellow top model herself. Hi, hi you guys. You Hello. Guys I hope you're doing what well, love. What top model is her ability to be on point, no matter how tired or exhausted That's a dancer reference. Is. Oh, band. So we had a photographer standing by to take your picture after you ran up 14 flights of <laughs> stairs. Yes, because that is that absolutely the way that, you know, most magazines conduct fashion today. shoots. <laughs> you will also be tested on your photo that you took on a trampoline for right. YK Stinger. We have right. randomly drawn names. And Narell, you're first. Narell! Ooh, a camisole. All right, so here is your exhausted photo shoot. Right. Wow. She doesn't look exhausted. She looks like she's in pain. What did they think was going to happen? What did, is this like humiliation time now? Is this like, you thought you were being models? Well, actually, look at the state of you. Look at look what you've done. Is that what we're doing? This feels very, I don't know, this feels very much like, do you remember that website that was like, talk to Frank? Like, oh, she sniffed a weed and now she's dead. Like, it's very that, isn't it? I actually like it. I think it's extremely modern, kind of uh, grungy looking. All right, Narelle, so you had a photo shoot. We had grungy to jump on Europe. a trampoline. And let's see how you did. Right. Lovely. Wow, Narelle, Beautiful. amazing. Very well. Your face looks very relaxed, which I think is very difficult when you're tensing your muscles and jumping. I'm very impressed. Will I buy the energy drink based on that? Huh. Absolutely not. It's really bad. I'm sorry. I can't even look at it. It's that bad. That's how I feel with you. Janice. You've got a great body. In this picture here, 
Your that legs actually look big, your stomach looks big. Your gut's hanging out, you know. A for effort, but F for the in product. We just had a entire like section earlier about body image and body positivity. And the thing they say to her at judging is, well, your legs are big and your gut's hanging out. It's vile. Too contrived. You're thinking about it all yeah. too much. We've never seen expression in your face. It's always the same. Callie, what did you do before you came here? What was your life about? Um, I actually I own an art gallery. Have you heard of expressionism? Yeah. Here. <laughs> That's not what expressionism is, sis. She owns an art gallery. I actually I own an art gallery. She owns an art gallery? That is incredible. You need to stay in the art world, sis. There's so much more fame and money in that world than there is in reality TV. Have you heard of expressionism? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Expressionism is not about Alrighty, facial emotion, up next we Janice. have Nicole. You don't really look like uh, a model in this picture. Every time a, a camera's on is you, you should be a model in this picture. Every time a, a camera's on you, you should always try to strike a pose because you never know. Yes. I mean, I'm with this girl a lot. Even and when she, we do snapshots, hello, yeah. Snapshot, she pulls it up. I wake up and I see camera she <laughs> snaps it up oh. like amazing. Oh Whoa. my God. Whoa. God, that's fierce. Whoa. Right. Fierce. You know what I like about it? That it doesn't look like some of the girls. They held it like, hey, why Jay Stinger? You know, and that's not fashion. Yeah, right. This is fashion. Is it? Up next, we have Takara. Oh, very fitness that. chic. Oh, Intensity yeah. with no hair and makeup. Yeah. So you had a photo shoot on a trampoline? No critique at all. They were just like, so you had a photo shoot on a trampoline, girl? So you had a photo shoot on a trampoline? Yes. Mm. She looked like a kind of like a raging bull, flaring nostrils. I don't know about this. Oh, you yeah. have what really, a lot of plus size models have, which is a sense of freedom in their body. And that kind of energy obviously really shows through. Cassie. Kate's been lovely. Best judge so far. I think the poses are a little too model-y. A little too like, <laughs> here's your best shot. Help me. Okay. I like it. Wow, well, I look scary. You look like you belong in a cornfield, like scaring crows away. Coming from Janice. Photographer said that Cassie looks tired and weak and not sure if she really wants to be here. What's up with that? Probably being Hello. constantly bullied. Eva. Well, how did you feel? Tired. I gagged. I was one of the few girls that I gagged. The fact that you were about to be sick, I mean, this is yeah, it's pretty pulled together. Right. You gagging! Look, you got me gagging! You in this photograph. Do you look fine? This shorty girl. Can we see a close-up? Is that good? You can't do the flared nostril oh, thingy anymore. You just have to bring your head down a little and kind of keep the nose together. I mean, she all probably right, was Amanda, deep inhalation as she was jumping. Not bad. Not bad, at, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Beautiful. One of the most startling things about this is wow. probably what makes your pictures great are your eyes. I mean, you really can't see them in any of the pictures and you still look good. Okay. Gorgeous. You've got a classic, timeless look here. The photographer's comments were that you were the superstar of the shoot. Oh, but what is her hair doing of here? the shoot. What do you call this hairstyle? What is this hairstyle? Spaghetti. Alrighty, up next we have Yaya. Come on, Yaya. So you won the race. And here are your three pictures from it. It's very sports person kind of it photograph. It is. It's beautiful. Nice. Which is That's very awesome. good. Ooh. No, it's not working. This oh, photo not shoot working, was guys. such an experiment for me. I went into it thinking, don't do anything dancey at all. And I was mad at myself for a moment. And you should have been mad at yourself. Yeah. Yours was the worst out of the lot. There's an art to taking advice. When mm -hmm. someone tells you don't look like a dancer, it means less Cirque du Soleil, more couture. You understand? So what you did is you threw everything out the window. You want to take... Cirque du Soleil is not dance. Your strength as an athlete, your, your strength as a dancer, and your Edge. eloquence, and then translate it into fashion. Chance. It's, it's hard Just chance. finding that balance, you know? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd like to see that in pictures. That was good. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's deep. I'm going to find the balance. What do you think about that picture? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it either. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Oh, dear. Thank Oh, Last, dear. we have Anne. I don't know who's going. You had a really photo shoot where you had like 14 flights of stairs. And here are your three shots. Somebody's tired. You? No, it's pedestrian. Your mouth is a little open. I just don't know who you are as a model. You're not getting it. Here is She's your best shot. She's going. Yeah, that scares me, too. Right, I don't like this very much. Anne. I love the outfit. I mean, you're so gorgeous. 
but it's they, not coming across in these photos at all. You are working here, photograph is not working, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It sucks, sorry. I do feel that they choose these photos on purpose in order to sell a storyline of the episode, which obviously makes sense because it's reality TV, but I am not Anne's friend this episode. She's upset me now. Uh that's quite childish take to have, actually. Yes. <laughs> I hope she doesn't lose right. her dance training too much. It's about moderation. Know when to turn it on, when to turn it off. Right, but Amanda, you've never I'm given her this film, take. Like, you've always said, no! This looks like the pictures of girls that I work with. Nicole. I have not Nick been Wabliet. a big fan of Nicole That lip colour is girl about time, but my man. It's image, she slams thing. it. Never give up on top model. Norelle. Norelle really did a good job in this picture. Do you like Norelle is in. Blown out pink I'm always going to be on her side. Because you're a plus size girl, honey. That's right, honey. And proud of it. Takara photographs incredibly well normally. This is just not her genre. It's just not the same. Eva. I absolutely adore Eva. I think she has a lot going for her. Eva's in. Anne. I don't think Anne is photogenic. And it's... Such a disappointment. I think Anne is photogenic. She just doesn't know what the hell to do with her face or her body. Oh I feel dear. like her and Kelly are neck and neck. Pretty girls don't know how to model. Oh dear. Kelly. Whatever she does, she overthinks it and, and sort of screws it up. I think she it's sees it like you've the given way her a I complex. can look at Picasso and say, oh, that's a great piece of artwork, but I, I don't know how to do that. I think she does have a pretty face, and she's certainly lovely in person. I think she should go back to her art gallery and sell art for the rest of her life. Cassie. Cassie yeah. doesn't have a clue of what a model is about, and this photograph proves it. Her face oh, looks, looks sort of almost dead. I'm very surprised. She's a really pretty, pretty girl. If Cassie had more life behind her eyes, I might see more of her beauty. She's is anyone agreeing with these? these critiques? I don't think I do. Right, here we go. Are you ready? Nine beautiful ladies stand gonna for me. Die. But I only have eight photos eight. in my hands. Spaghetti. And these photos represent the eight of you that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top Spaghetti. Model. Right. Look at the outfits. Eva! This picture is absolutely beautiful. Is it? Congratulations. But she had a very still flared nostril. towards becoming America's next top model. Thank you. Hmm. Production favoritism, perhaps? Amanda. Yeah, I thought Amanda Nicole. was going to be called first. Congratulations. Nicole. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Third time we've seen her this episode. Ah! Interesting. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly From her what critiques. I'm going to say to you. It's all about balance. Yes, and but you've never said that before, so how is she meant to do that when you haven't told her? Mm -hmm. And then doing the sum of that and coming up with what works mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. So you got your degree. You're still only running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. Good. Thank you. Oh, Takara. Right. Norelle. No Congratulations. Takara? You're still only running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. Oh! Okay. Kelly versus Cassie. It could be Anne. The next name that I'm going to call. Oh, humbling experience, Anne. It's Cassie. <gasps> Dagged! Kelly versus Anne! Cassie, you look amazing. Oh, Kelly's going to go, like isn't a she? real model. I notice oh. a certain sadness with you, and I think maybe talking to someone, we can kind of get that out. Yeah. Congratulations. Don't have to do it here, is it? Oh. Well, right. Anne and Kelly, please step forward. Oh. Here we go, girls. Kelly, like Kelly's little. I only have one photo in my hands. And this photo represents the girl that will continue on in the running towards becoming America's next top model. I will only call one name. The girl's name I do not call must immediately return to your apartment, pack your belongings, and leave. I've never had to do this before, but I'm giving both of you the exact same critique. Oh. Both oh. of you. Absolutely beautiful girls to the eye. Is it a double effect? But it doesn't translate to doesn't your trans. photographs. No trans. You all are the walking signpost for pretty girl, not photogenic. But the judges cool. feel that one of you may have a little bit more potential than the other. Congratulations, Anne. <gasps> I knew it. We are still in the running towards oh, becoming America's Oh, Kelly, next the model. pressure. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, Kelly. She knew it, didn't she? She knew it.
I would have liked to keep trying. You know, on the same hand, there's only so much humiliation I can take. Exactly, it Maybe is humiliating. I'm not good at this, and this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, not everyone's meant to model. I've hit rock bottom, and I've been called some really bad things, and I've grown from it. You know, I guess they say, like, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, that's also not true, but I understand the aspect. Oh, Kelly, at least you've been saved from more of this madness. Well, Ken Mock, it was your fault. I've got some thoughts. This episode has been an absolute emotional roller coaster. I literally used that as the title of the last episode of America's Next Top Model, but today really was. We saw some really difficult topics being spoken about in kind of an unfriendly way. Let's talk about them, shall we? So I said it earlier, and I'm going to reiterate this point. We had a moment where Cassie felt like she wanted to talk about a potential issue that she's going through. And from her sharing that, I wanted this show to approach it in a very careful and thought-provoking way. And they kind of did. That nutritionist probably said the most sensible thing we've heard this episode, which is you should probably talk to someone to, in order to like understand that. Whereas later in the episode, we then had the judges body shame another contestant right in front of the other contestants. So where is the line? Where is the balance? Tyra loves to say like, it's all about balance. You do this and then you do that. But actually saying like, oh, we're very body positive and we want to warn about the dangers of certain types of things in the industry. And then the judges immediately go and perpetuate the same problems that are rampant within the industry. It doesn't make any sense to me. Next, I want to talk about the frustration that we clearly felt in this episode. This is where the contestants are starting to feel the sort of inadequacies of, uh, let's say Jay Manuel, shall we? <laughs> Jay Manuel being like, that looks good. Give it more couture. That looks bad. Don't do that. Like that is not critique. And I feel like Throughout this entire season, Yaya's right with her what she said where she's been told, don't be a dancer, you're doing it too dull, I don't even see a model, I see a dancer. So naturally she's gonna want to avoid doing that in these sorts of shoots. And then to have somebody else praised for their dancer-like athletics and their poses, I can completely understand the level of frustration. The same goes with Kelly. In the last episode, we saw Kelly staring into the mirror, trying to practice how to hold her face in a more intense way. When we saw, quite possibly, the reason why she's not coming across intense in photos is because they're editing out her emotion by flattening these images. So I do not feel that Kelly in any way, shape or form is unlike intense or could not convey emotion with her face. I feel like we saw peeps of those emotions. It's just that production did not see her going further in this competition. And that's really what it is. What we actually see is the contestants' frustrations with not being allowed to progress further. And I feel like that's what we have to remember when it comes to these reality TV shows. I asked the question earlier in this episode, am I actually feeling what production wants me to feel as a viewer when it comes to Anne being really hateful in this episode for no reason at all? And then that never being mentioned again. Like, am I being made to feel the exact way this show wants me to feel in order to feel engaged. And it probably is true, even now, 20 years later. Mind you, I'm more of an adult now, so I tend to see things more from like a, a well-rounded point of view in an argument's sake. Like 20 years ago, I was a teenager, so I would have been like, no, they're all wrong. Eh. Whereas now I think that I'd like to think that my brain has matured enough that I can kind of see the points of debates and arguments from multiple different sources. It's just very interesting viewing. And I don't feel like this show has tackled the things we've seen today and some of the topics in this episode episode with the tact that it needed to. But my loves, let me know what you guys think in the comments box below because as always these episodes they cause a discourse and I feel like it's very important for us to understand why we think the way we do about our bodies when we were subjected to media like this growing up. And with that my lovelies it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself <laughs> You fluffed on me, Biscuit. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Fable and Flourish, Jamie Clark, Jen Martin, Jennifer Herman, Jin Woo Choi, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Millie Hammond, Min Min Tien, Mariah Sherman, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Ryan Vita, Slam Empire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the note of... 
don't touch other people's food. <laughs> Please don't. That's so, I don't know. It's just too much, isn't it? Don't mess around with other people's food. Don't mess around with other people's belongings. And I think that advice will pretty much take you quite far in life, I would hope. And with that, my loves, we'll see you in the next one.